Axis and Allies 1942 second edition back with another video today and I'm just gonna be going over some uh, combat today if that makes sense uh, I've set up a couple battles here uh, that all be taking place uh, this is just if you're a little confused on how the combat actually works in the game uh, so I've got this first battle set up right here uh, this is just a basic land battle I have I sent in a fighter, a couple stuff. I uh, say it's the UK's turn right now. They're attacking Germany. Uh, yep, I did get that right. Attacker and defender. I never really get that right on that side, but that's fine. So, uh, infantry attack at a one or less, uh, but when paired with artillery, uh, it's a one for one ratio. The attack actually gets brought up to a two. So it'll be one dice at a one. Uh, two dice out of two or less, and three dice, or no, excuse me, two dice out of three or less, there we go. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and roll that, and go along with the battle, so there's the one, miss. We'll go ahead and get the twos, we got one hit, and something I like to do is I like to just put a little marker right next to it, and then we'll go ahead and roll for the threes, both misses. So we only got one hit off of uh, that side there. Then we have uh, two two, or, yep, two twos, or two us. We'll go ahead and roll that. Both misses. And we'll go ahead and roll that one three. There we go. So we got, it was a one for one. That was a really poor battle. I didn't really shake up the dice too well, but I guess that's fine. Uh, one thing, if you haven't noticed, I'm not using the casualty strip, uh, which would mark, like, I'd probably, probably put it right there, it would mark uh, what units to destroy. So UK got off one hit, so they have to take off one unit of their choosing. Uh, they're not going to take off their tank because that has a higher uh, defense value, uh, and that's also more expensive, so infantry are a good meat shield, and then they could take off that off the one hit they got and then I'll just go ahead and put those back over there uh, and so it just basically continues like that so I'm gonna move these dice out of there so next round uh, they have no ones but they have two twos so we'll go ahead and both misses uh, and then two threes one hit I like to just pull all one right there and then a two and a three. Okay, got one hit. And then this just kind of marks what it is. If I get two hits, I go like that, three hits, and so on and so forth. But it was one for one again. Just go like that, take off infantry. Infantry are uh, pretty cheap to get. They're good for meat shielding, if that makes sense. Uh, and then two for one, miss. And two threes. Okay, got a hit. And so that automatically destroys that tank. We'll just go ahead and move him back. Then he still gets a chance to defend three. And nope, that was a miss. So he got no hits off of that. And that would be a, a United Kingdom victory. So I'll go ahead and just move those off. Uh, and then uh, moving planes into battles with and without AA guns uh, also has something to do with it. So I'll just move those over here, so they're actually attacking now. AA guns uh, just kind of get placed off to the side, uh, like that. Uh, that's basically that. Uh, and then you'll just move the other units onto the board. And since there's two artillery here, uh, two infantry get brought up. So I'll just go ahead and exchange that out over here real quick. And two infantry would stay at level one. There we go. So if they are bringing planes in, the AA gun uh, gets to fire for one round uh, at, uh, or directly at the planes. Uh, if there's bombers and all that, it would still fire directly at the planes. It gets to fire up to three shots. Uh, however, since there's only two fighters in this battle, it can only do two shots. 
and it would be an instant kill uh, for that. So we'll go ahead and see a one or less, two dice. Both misses, unfortunately, uh, but that would just uh, go on like that. But say this was a one, hooray, we got a one. Uh, just take off the plane immediately, put it back in the uh, bin or, or bag, I guess, if you guys are using the bag. Uh, and it doesn't have a chance to defend. Uh, now, if there aren't any planes in it, in a battle, and the AA gun is still in it, AA guns can be taken as a casualty. Uh, so, let's see, two, uh, two ones, both misses, four twos, oh, let's pick that back up, four twos, three hits, oh, then a three. We'll just go ahead and we got four hits in total. So I'll pull four marker right here. There we go. And then they still have a chance to defend this AA gun. Doesn't have any attack value since there is no planes in the battle. So it doesn't get a chance to defend. Uh, and then there's three infantry and artillery. Infantry defend at two. That's why all three are up there. So that'd be four in total. Three hits, right back. So I'll pull three down real quick. And then one, three. We'll go ahead and roll that. And that was a miss because it was a five. Uh, and then, so they have to take off four units. They can take off their AA gun and maybe the rest of their infantry uh, instead. Uh, and then they have to take off three. So they could maybe just take off infantry. Uh, and then it would keep on going on uh, until retreat. Uh, or what's the other one? Victory. I guess it's victory. Most likely victory in this uh, instance. So victory retreat, uh, or the other team's units just die out completely. I won't finish that just because it'll take a while. Uh, but if those planes were in it, that would have a chance to defend for one round only, and it'll be automatically removed. Let's go ahead and put these units back. There we go. Sorry if I'm angling this really bad. I'm actually sitting down currently, uh, which is a bit change, a little change for a video. Okay, and then something I don't always do, uh, when the units are out here on the board, uh, I don't always move them, only if there's like a lot of units. Uh, so like maybe that battle I'd move, that, was, that could take place on there, somewhere in the Pacific. Move it maybe over here. But if it's just something like this, uh, and you have uh, whatever it's called, a small amount of units. There we go. Uh, so if that was the battle, I'd just leave that on the board. I, it would just waste time to take it off just because it's such a small battle. Uh, in this case, we do have the opportunity for a surprise strike. Uh, United Kingdom is attacking, and they're defending at a one or less. Uh, so a surprise strike is basically where they get to attack before, and if they get hits, those hits are directly applied, and if it destroys those units, uh, like say it was only that ship, and they get a two ones, that doesn't have a chance to uh, attack back. So surprise strike is valid just because there's no... Uh, destroyer on the opposite team. So two ones and both misses, unfortunately. Uh, and then uh, it's kind of reversed uh, order in this case. Uh, and then they would go ahead and go. So uh, three, this, and a four. Okay, they got one hit. Uh, that would be removed. Uh, and then I've actually played Surprise Strike two different ways. Uh, I believe the correct way uh, to be, they just get the surprise strike. Uh, I also played it where they get the surprise strike and they also get a chance to defend as well, uh, which is a little bit differently, or a bit different of rules uh, in the game. Uh, but I usually just play they just get the surprise strike. They don't. That, that's their attack, and that's how they can go for it. So they still have a surprise strike, no destroyer present. Uh, they missed, and I'm just going to go ahead and roll that four. 
and they got a hit, so that would be dead. Those two subs, uh, not very good odds there. Uh, before I go to that monstrous one, I'm just going to go on over to this one over here. This one does have Destroyer's Presence. Excuse me, present. There we go, not presents. I just had Christmas. I don't know why I said that, but I guess that's fine. Uh, and we'll go ahead. We'll make UK defending this time. Uh, so there's a Destroyer present on the opposing team, so that sub would not get a surprise strike. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do a two. Ooh, they got one hit, or two loss, I should say, and then a three. And they got two hits. So those are both dead. They still have a chance to defend. So a one or less. Oh, they got a hit and a two or less. They missed. So they got two hits. And they only got one hit. There's the one. There we go. Uh, so yeah. So one hit. They might just take out that. Throw that away in the bin. And then they lost both of those. Okay, but now, uh, if it's a battle like this, uh, I may move it, I may not. So transports, there's some units boarded onto the transport. They just kind of get sent off to the side. Transports have no attack value or defense value. Uh, so if they encounter a enemy unit, automatically, or it's automatically destroyed. Uh, and these units on the transport, the cargo, I cannot attack in this battle. So we'll go ahead and move these over here. We'll have, we'll have Japan defending. Might be a little more, I don't remember where, I think it's a two in this one. Yeah, they defend a two. I uh, whatever that boat is called again, aircraft carrier. And likewise, uh, you would still do the battle. Uh, so that's set off to the side. Uh, transports are the last to be taken. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, so uh, they have to go through all your ships first, and then your transport will be destroyed at the end. Uh, just because it doesn't really make any sense if you're just going after the transport, uh, even though uh, you're being fired upon by other ships, I guess. So we'll go ahead and one or less, miss, two twos, both misses, three threes. Okay, got two hits. Just put a little two over there. There we go. And a four. And they got that too. So it'll be three hits in total. There we go. And now there's two twos defending. And both misses. And then there's four... Nope, there's three fours. And looks like they got all three of those hits. So it was three for three. Uh, obviously, they're gonna take off one of those hits over here. One, two, maybe three. I, I don't know. That might not have been the best thing to do. Uh, and then one, two, and maybe three. And then they can continue on from there. They can either choose to retreat or keep on attacking. Just for video's sake, I'll just keep on attacking. So one, two, miss, three threes, two hits. There you go. And then a four, miss. So they got two hits off, and now they have a chance to defend. One, two, miss. And three fours. And that six was not in there, I don't think. So they got two hits, I think. Might have to look at the video again to really make sure. So it's two for two. And we'll just go ahead and do that and put those guys back over there. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep on attacking. Let's see if we can get these last two ships with the US. Oh, both misses on those threes. And a four. Oh my goodness. Okay, two fours. Oh, same thing. Two threes. One hit. And a four. 
Got two hits. Both of those are destroyed. Let's see if they can retaliate back. Ooh, they both missed. So destroyed. And that would be that. Let's say uh, those ships were actually still alive. Uh, and they destroyed all their units. Then that transport would be taken as a casualty. So I guess that's about it. If you have any other questions about combat, uh, just let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. If you have any suggestions on things I might, or things I should do, uh, I know I'm going to be doing a, a situational strategy video here soon. Uh, Isaac actually requested. Uh, if you guys know Isaac, uh, he comments, so he requested it. That should be coming out, uh, no clue, sometime this week, or... Uh, Perhaps at the end of January. Uh, I, thought, I also got this really cool dice tray. Pretty nifty. Uh, really nice too. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.